Hi, my name is Jake Badler, and I would like to demonstrate one of an infinite number of tunings for the piano, a 13-limit just intonation recipe that I used for a composition of mine a few years ago called Opus Clavoblasticum for three pianos, four percussionists, and large ensemble. The tuning system evolved during the composition process as I was searching for harmonies along the way, uh, but I found that there's something really beautiful and visceral about just intonated harmonies on the piano, and there's something really exciting about using a new tuning system. The tools I use for tuning are just a piano tuning wrench and two mutes, and it's I find that it's easier to tune just intonation by ear, but one can always use a electric tuner as a reference. Let's take a look at the tuning system. I began by choosing C as my fundamental tone, and tuned a Pythagorean chain of fifths from C to G, G to D, D to A each derived from the third harmonic. I then tuned some pure major thirds corresponding to the fifth harmonic above C and G. This gives us consonant major triads on C and G. We also get a nice solid C major 9 chord. Next, we get three new pitches derived from the seventh harmonic. A 7-4 above C gives us a low B flat. We now have a crunchy C7 chord. The B flat above G gives us a beautifully narrow minor third, or 7-6, and combining it with a D gives us the saddest minor triad that ever existed. Those of you familiar with Lamont Young's well-tuned piano have heard this harmony feature prominently. Next, a 7-4 above G gives us a low F. This gives us a crunchy G9 and a septimal minor triad on D. To get the same 7-6 above C, we tune a 3-2 below B flat to give us a low E flat. We now have three dark minor chords on C, D, and G. Notice we have a chain of fifths on E flat, B flat, F, which is a 7 6 higher than the chain of fifths above C. These tones also create septimal major thirds, or 9 7, on B flat, E flat, and F which are much wider than usual. For me, they have a kind of sentimental quality to them. Now let's add two more exotic harmonies, the 11-8, which is 49 cents flatter than the tritone of equal temperament, and the 13-8, which is around 41 cents sharper. A C whole tone scale gives us a distinctively crunchy sound. we can now play a harmonic series up to the 16th harmonic. And many other possibilities await to be discovered. If you'd like to learn more about tuning theory, please feel free to contact me. 
I'm going to be offering an eight-week microtonality crash course in which we will dive deep into the many tuning systems, including just intonation, historical temperaments, and equal divisions of the octave. Please feel free to check out detailed information in the syllabus in the comments. And thank you for your time, and be well.